How you doing, everybody? Blaze the Snake here, coming at you live with the new Bone La- Bone Work sequel, Bone Lab. I literally just started this right now. Um, also, um, the day I'm recording this is actually going to be the different to the day I'm uploading. This is going to be the first um, premiere episode. It's going to go up on October 1st because that's going to be the start of both Spoopy Month and VR Month. I'm going to start doing like a set months where I do nothing but this type of game or whatnot. Like I'm going to have a VR month. I'm going to have a, um, um, like a PC only month and I'm going to have like a, Classics only month. Of course, it's going to be nothing but PS2 stuff and whatnot. If I and like depending on what context it is, like Voodoo Vince, that would be in Classics month. Due to the fact that it's an old game I played, uh, don't worry about that. It's still kind of loading up and whatnot. But like. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna switch it around, see what I can do and whatnot. Like, um, I mean, I know you can't see my hands, but I'm in VR. I'm, uh, I'm back, kinda. I still need to get back on VR chat. Which, also speaking of which, Spoopy Month will also be like scary type VR stuff. There might not be, there might be some days where I don't record, but you'll know when. I was planning on instead doing Phasmophobia, but I'm going to probably do that live stream instead. And the game's still kind of being stupid for me. Also, real fan, I didn't watch, I didn't watch Edge Runners. I got that shit day one and I liked it. Y'all, y'all people who do what, who are into this because of edge runners, y'all fake. Tell you that right now. Y'all fake. All right, game get loading up. I got some idea of what's happening, but it's not too much. I know, like, in the first, in Boneworks, everything fucked up, and you were stuck in a VR simulation, you had to fix it. I'm wondering if this is actually going to be still that same person in the same thing. Or this is going to be, like... Yeah, I'm fat. What what the fuck? do every day.
Ein. <laughs> I'm a genius! This is why y'all trying to burn me. Well, this stainless steel signature edition blade will cut through anything, but it's not gonna stick around long at the nice price of $19.99, so call in right now and get cutting. That's why they were trying to kill me, and I'm too smart. also something down here so might as well check that out I guess Crossing that low. Then I'm getting a battle axe if that's what they're talking about.
break those. Them things used to be, be able to bounce. Hal here was causing a lot of trouble over in Fantasyland. Good thing I showed up, right? <laughs> Thank you. 
surprised. There's an entire map. magical bullshit.
んだよ I want something more real.
turn with these gun guys.
Kellern. I, I don't get that same feeling of vertigo and whatnot that other people in VR get. I don't know why. Like, I mean, I look down and see my hands are just doing like two fingers and I'm like, okay. But there's them some s parts where sometimes it'll hit me like, oh shit, this is actually a thing. Now enjoy a loading screen. It's fuck my life. I'm drinking water with iodine in it. I'm supposed to put like, I'm back on my thyroid stuff and my main thyroid stuff, the levothyroxine, and then I got, uh, I, as a, I already asked my doctor, she said it was all right, I put three droplets of iodine in my water, or any kind of juice. That way my thyroid actually works. Yeah, that stand from part four, the one that was the food one. Or is it the same rules as Josuke where he can't do it on himself? <clears throat> really gone into the, into a stand, really a combat type stand. It was just, uh, I can make food better for you. That was part of the reason why I didn't like part four too much. I mean, a lot of people are like, oh, it's the best part. I, if it comes to like something like Dragon Ball Super, I enjoy the slice of life stuff, but it's its own thing. Like, I like the baseball episode. I like the um, shit that happened and whatnot, except the plant potafu arc. Potafu could go screw itself. The only thing Potafu did good was for Coffee Vegeta, they brought back the Ocean Dub Vegeta. The one that actually made the over 9,000 joke a thing. Yeah, everybody now does Chris Sabat. It's over 9,000, but it's he, that wasn't the original. The original, the, the Funimation dub, when they first got Sabat, they actually wanted him to do the over 8,000 line, but he was like, uh, I'm going to do over 9,000 as a reference. Let's see what time it is. 10.15. And yes, I'm recording all of this. Even the shit where it's like waiting and it's stuck on the loading screen. It's 
So apparently they did get the whole thing up and running. My question is, am I a new person or am I the one from the first game just stuck in the game? Yeah, Lucario is playing multiverses. If he does videos on that, go watch his shit. I'm surprised I don't see Thypers now playing Bone Lab. <coughs> oh, oh, there we go. Didn't it have like a, some kind of orange on it. song that's literally just played I... Let's see if there's a story to this shit. I think there is something in those boxes, though.
this is all it is, and I'm pissed. Am I actually supposed to be doing all the stuff to it or what? Attack trial. Oh, that's trippy. Oh, that was trippy. Oh. Oh, shit. That was trippy. Mmm. Oh, shit. That was... Oh, Lord. Oh. Trippy as hell. But seriously, if that's all it is, I'm going to be pissed. And I doubt that's all it is, but still. <clears throat> I 
I'm going to do at least a tact trial because I think that's like tactical trial or something. I guess see how well I shoot shit. Marine is pretty self explanatory. I do that all the time in Blade and Sorcery. Uh, parkour, I guess I'm going to be pulling off some shit like, um, what's her face from Mare's Edge. I didn't know who played that game. Didn't it? it looks interesting, but EA being EA, I ain't giving them no damn money. It's like that new Monster Hunter thing that they're doing. It ain't going to beat out Monster Hunter. Koei Tecmo went in with the wrong people. Just, just stuck in a ninja guiding. And Hyrule Warriors. And Dead or Alive. They, they, that, that new game ain't going to be the Monster Hunter killer. All you're doing is pressing Capcom to go into making Monster Hunter 6, and there ain't no way nothing going to be Monster Hunter 6. So I say that game's going to be... A, it, 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 people are going to be like, eh, I'll check it out, but it, it's overall going to be a flop. Like, yeah, yeah, that game, uh, I'm going to try it out. And 20 seconds in, this game's uninspired. It's pretty much like Sekiro meets Monster. Or what is it, Ghost of Tsushima? It's like everybody making their games be like Dark Souls, Bloodborne, and all that shit. Nobody can... Make the games like those. There are only a few bosses that come to mind that come that that their difficulty comes from the fact that they're tanks. Other than that, the difficulty of bosses comes from, um, oh shit, I'm actually was still sitting down.
shit, man. It's gonna be a hell of a shot. This is a Beretta.
Damn. I suck even on easy. <sighs> Maybe if I went to that below instead of up top I would have gotten it because it took me a while for the assault rifle stuff to kick in but I ain't got time right now try to do poor but that'll be my thing Afterwards, I'll see if this is still worthy of playing. Once I and when once I stop, but overall, and I'm not really too happy about it being a mini game collection. Like if at some point mods come into it to play and whatnot, because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a big ass mod community behind this. And the first couple areas from Metal Gear Solid are already in Bone Works itself. I mean, which by the way, I'm going to check that out. I'm on, I'm probably only going to go oh, all of it. Because it's not Twin Snakes, it's the OG. And, oh my god, I love the OG. Twin Snakes got nothing on the OG. I don't care if it's better graphics or whatnot. First off, for to me, the OG had better voice direction. Twin Snake, I, I, I still stand by this, even though I played it through in um, on YouTube. Twin Snakes makes every character sound like they got Down Syndrome. Like, okay, David Hayter gave up half his paycheck so the the majority of the original cast could be on that game, but at the same time, they could have put in a bit more effort, you know? A bit more energy. Like, I don't care about the quality of the original. It's like the original felt more real and it felt more like, yeah, this is how they would probably sound during that kind of situation. Ain't doing hard. Like, um, 
the talk with the arms tech president. He, when he's like, oh, I forgot Meryl's codec number. All Snake does in the original is, damn! Like, it just, like, okay. It's something to be sour about, but at the same time, you can't get mad at the guy who's senile. And the twin snakes, Snake has a big-ass freak-out about it. Like, bruh, chill. Makes me think, right, you do enjoy all the killing. And speaking of which, there could have, there, there should have been something different with the cutscene there, like because of the trank weapons. It made sense for Metal Gear Solid One because all you had were guns or lethal. The only way to do a non-lethal run was not use a gun at all, which was near impossible for casual player. And then you get like the tranquilizer weapons. It's like, oh, this shit easy. Yeet. Of course, not that I didn't kill in Twin Snakes, but still. There should have been uh, dialogue optional where Lick was like, wait, you didn't kill? one of them things that always seemed weird to me like i get it for peace walker and five that snake would be tranquilizing everybody because and you can like or, well portable ops peace walker and twin and, and um five it made sense to do the tranquilizer because then you could capture them and send them back to your base and whatnot for the rest of them i'm like why have a tranquilizer gun Then tied into where, like, um, for example, um, Metal Gear Solid Four, which I don't know what I'm going to be doing that, um, but Metal Gear Solid Four, like, the guys from the Guerrilla Forces and whatnot, that that's the only way they'll their names will turn blue is if you because like the whole thing is is that you're supposed to help them out and whatnot. Well, to do that, you either got to do something big for them. Like, for example, destroy the electrical system. Or you got to trank all the enemies. Which usually, that's what I do, is that I trank all the, all the PMC soldiers. And if there's like a big ass... Um, militia thing where like going into underground i don't have to worry about sneaking around because then they're like oh you got you you helped us you can go through you know like why fuck over those guys unless you're doing it for a video or something be like uh here's what happens when you fuck around with them my ears starting to itch You know, load. The funny thing is, I'm looking toward my bed. Probably. And it's a corner of the wall, but still. It's like my bed's like. Toward where the bone. Where, where you see the Bone Lab logo, that's where my bed is. <coughs> I'm literally in my room. We're just doing this shit.
I guess I already did the one. Can I open that now? That means that's done. I get the feeling that's going to be whatever. I'm sorry, that shit trippy. It doesn't explain that little black bar thing. I'm probably going to need this. Check my phone. Hey man, did it say the mission? I played Dragon Ball Legends and I was talking about my mission plans almost up. I think I only changed it like two days ago. I can't even be that quick about story updates. Jesus Christ. And granted, they just did like a story update yesterday, but still.
the fucking Matrix. I'm Keanu Reeves! Never mind, I'm not Keanu Reeves. Thing. I didn't believe! Someone is a weeb.
I'm aiming right at you. Ain't no way in hell I'm doing any of those. He stopped time. Stop with them! The water! More of it was like, I'm like, holy shit, I'm in the Matrix. I mean, that's effectively what this game's... Oh, the... First one was kind of about, it was kind of like being in the Matrix kind of thing, but it was like a kind of Half-Life kind of deal. To be honest, I actually like Boneworks better than Half-Life, though. Everybody's like, oh, Half-Life is so amazing. It's so good, Emily. It's a mid-first-person shooter. And granted, among other FPSs, it's weak. But the only thing that's good about Half-Life is that it gave us a big-ass mod and scene. Because without Half-Life, we wouldn't have Gary's mod and whatnot. So it's kind of like 50-50. That's probably why Valve's scared of the number three, because everybody's like, Oh, new engine, we could mod!
far as I'm aware, with Portal, that story's done. Shell escaped from the facility anyway, so why would there be a Portal 3? And granted, maybe GLaDOS could test on some robots, but that's what the multiplayer is. And even then, where else could you go with the story of that? I could kind of see a Left 4 Dead 3 happening. I could even... I, the biggest thing Valve should focus on probably right now is Half-Life. If I got time, I'll go into Sandbox. 1107. I'll sing. I've yet to eat lunch. I ate breakfast, I just haven't eaten lunch. Now, all you people who play in this shit. After watching Cyberpunk Headrunners, y'all fake. I played that shit day one. And I loved it. two that's still trippy as fuck Again, go watch his shit. I'm literally sitting down in my recliner because I'm like, eh. This one shouldn't take that long to load. It's a gun range. Gun ranges are basic as shit. More of it is just because I want to see if there's any other, uh, what kind of weapons they got in this. Because the shotguns are new. So in the base game, you had handguns, 
swords and whatnot, but he never had, like, straight-up shotguns and whatnot.
I didn't think that would kill me, but okay. I can play some men in black. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if that core thing worked, and I'll end it here. <laughs> My controller's probably rubbing up against my headset. I'm mostly chilling right now. I think that's the thing that the first Boneworks has over this. They didn't force you into mini games. Of course, you had to look up at the wiki to understand what the hell was going on. So I said it's some kind of half-life shit. Uh, a couple quick updates, because like I said, I'm probably going to end it soon. Um, October's going to be the start of both VR and Spoopy Month. It means I'm going to do both VR games and scary games and whatnot. So I'm probably... Maybe... I'm going to still do Spyro here and there, but that's stuff I wasn't expecting World 3 to be like. Needing 60 eggs, so I might do like a couple bonus parts and do grinding for eggs and whatnot. But anyway, um, the majority theme of this month is that it's going to be VR games and it's going to be scary games. So I might play like Phasmophobia one time and then I might play Outlast another time or Resident Evil another time. Hell, I actually might dab with my hands in Silent Hill 2 since the PS2 emulator is actually able to be streamed so I've never played a Silent Hill video game luckily for me the Silent Hill games are kind of self-contained stories instead of like with Metal Gear Solid where it's all big one continuous thing But I'm also going to get back into VR chat this month. I'm not doing update videos using VR chat anymore. That's still going to be Minecraft whenever I get do get a VR update video out. Um, but I'm going to be doing more stuff on VRC again. Might actually get plus again. I don't know. Money's kind of tight right now. But again, that's why I ask whomever can subscribe to page, my Patreon, please do. I got it linked up in somewhere or whatnot. I'll do shout outs and let you do, do, say what's going to go on with the video. Uh, you might even say I should play Silent Hill 2 on hard. You do the 20 bucks, 
to your uh, that's what I'll do. That's why I needed the crane. Good thing I already started her up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to end it here. I'm gonna have to look that shit up myself on YouTube. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Something on my Patreon. Please, something on my Patreon. I beg of you. Peace. I'm out. Yeah.